So I just want to do a quick update on some uh, microgreens I planted that I recorded. I showed you guys this in a prior video. So I thought, hey, why not show you guys how they came out? Sorry it's a little bit noisy in here. I've got uh, some fans running, but let's get into it. This is uh, purple broccoli, or broccoli purple is how True Leaf sells it. And it's doing great. No complaints there at all. Here's some basil. This is, I think, basil I showed in that video, but I could be wrong. This looks older than that, but this is perfect right here. This is exactly how I would harvest my basil. So this is ready to be harvested. You can see it, it came out great. That's a beautiful tray of basil. Here's some red garnet amaranth. This one's doing pretty good. I do see right here a little bit of dampen off. This isn't in a, uh, a high fan area, so maybe I'm not getting enough airflow on this. Here is some cauliflower. My first time ever growing cauliflower. Planted this six days ago. You can see right here. I don't usually label my trays, but when I plant something I've never planted before, then I, I usually will label it just because I'm not sure if I'm going to know what this is just by looking at it because I've never grown it. And it's got kind of a unique look to it. I, I think from here on out I would know this is cauliflower just by the way it looks. But it's growing really nice. Really happy with it. Here's some arugula. I just harvested a little bit of that that I threw into a mix. Arugula is looking great. These are green pea, so these are going to grow a ton of tendrils, and you can see that they're already forming tendrils. They're really quick at growing the tendrils, but these peas take longer than pea shoots. These are pea tendrils, and pea shoots are like about 10 days from seed without soaking. And these are more like 14 days. So those are going to be beautiful. I'll show you, show you those again later. Some sunflower. I just watered them, so they're a little messy. But these are growing really well. Now here are a couple trays I thought you guys would be very interested in. I, I know that this isn't a new method or anything, but... It's something I'm trying out, and it seems to be working really good so far. So this right here is red ruby shard. And the way I planted it is I just planted dry seed right on top of the soil, put a little bit of uh, vermiculite over the top, like a real little bit, just barely coating the seed, watered it heavily, and then just put a, another tray over the top of it as a dome, and left it like that for five to six days and uncovered these this morning, early this morning. That's what they look like now. And so far they're doing pretty good. These might actually make it. We'll see how they do once the leaves get bigger. And there's some that have seed holes on them that are still trying to come up. But for the most part, that's a pretty clean tray. These are Detroit dark beets, dark red beets. I did the same exact process and they're looking fantastic. Very, very few seed holes and they're still there but they're not as bad as I've had in the past. And uh, yeah, they're doing great. There was somebody that commented on my, either on my YouTube channel or on Facebook that was telling me that uh, when he does beats, he doesn't stack them at all and so that's what I'm trying. I did do it once and I was happy with the results and I'm even more happy with the results this time around. So we'll see how that goes. I wish I could remember who it was that told me. Sorry if you're watching this that I didn't give you a shout out, but I don't remember. So looking great. These are uh, rainbow shard. Same process again. No stacking, covered with a little bit of vermiculite. 
Now the rainbow shard I, I found to be my most difficult microgreen to grow. But these are actually looking okay and we'll see how they do. So I'd also planted some corn shoots. These were grown in my, uh, my blackout chamber. And they look great, right? No problems, they grew awesome. Couple uh, brown tips here and there. And the reason they're out here in my compost pile is they're just too tall. I, I waited about two days longer than I should have to harvest them. And I don't like giving product that's not exactly what I want it to be. So a chef wants some of these for, uh, for Thursday. Today is Monday and I harvested a small amount. He's never had them before. And um, what I'm gonna do is I, you know, I made sure I didn't give him any with uh, any of the brown tips or whatever. But so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna give it to him, tell him they're not to my standard. They were growing a little bit too tall and that he can just have them for free. And if he likes them, then I'll grow more for them and I'll make sure I harvest them at the proper time and plant them at the right time. But my corn, my corn shoots have been growing fantastic. So my, my process, I think I've explained it, but my process is to, I plant them dry. Again, I plant everything dry. And then I cover all the seed in about an eighth inch of soil. And I stack them like I do my peas, my sunflower. And then once all the seeds start to kind of sprout, I uncover them and they just go straight in the blackout chamber. That's where they sit and that's where they grow. That's why they're not green. You can't leave them stacked for too long. They're not like other shoots. They're not gonna pick up the tray above it. And if you leave them too long, they'll get kind of squirrely on, on the soil and they won't like come up as shoots. So as soon as they're really starting to sprout, it's time to uncover them. You probably don't have to stack them at all. That's gonna be it for this little update. Short little video. Just wanted to keep you guys updated. You know, I, I, I showed you when I planted them and I thought it'd only be right if I showed you how things went. I know I didn't show you when I planted the, the shard and beets, but now you see them. So if you like this video, please go ahead and uh, click that thumbs up. Rather you didn't click the thumbs down. Subscribe if you're not already. Hit the little bell so you'll get updates whenever I make new videos. Be well and enjoy.